welcome to Restoring Balance and a Yoga Snack. And this will be about, uh, about a 20 minute practice and it's focusing on the psoas in a nurturing manner. So you'll need a couple of eggs um, or a blanket, whatever is most comfortable for you. Um, or if you just have the regular blocks, that'll be fine as well. Um, have two blocks on hand that you can use to support and then um, we'll go from there. You can even use couch pillows since you're at home doing this and we have options. So we're gonna begin on our back in constructive rest pose. And just finding that comfortable position, maybe the arms a little bit away from the body with the palms up and um, so allowing the shoulders to relax down. The knees are bent and the feet are flat. And we're finding that comfortable position that we feel supported and our feet are in line with the hips. And there any comfortable distance away from the hips. We want to begin to feel like we're able to release tension and soften the hips. Our constructive rest pose is a passive psoas release posture. So if we can think of the thigh bones as being allowed to sink a little deeper into the hip joint. And very consciously begin to let go of tension from the hips. And if it's helpful, just gently rock the hips side to side, allow the head to move a little bit if that's, if that's natural. And just sort of a gentle swaying. And then you continue to keep that swaying going if you like, or just become still, whatever is most comfortable for you. Our intention here is just to Find some softness without a lot of work. And let's begin to focus on the breath. We can expand the breath, lengthen the inhale, lengthen the exhale as we're ready. Breathing in and out through the nose as much as possible through our practice. And then let's allow the muscles of the face and the head and the jaw to soften. Be aware of the tongue softening and laying down on the bottom of the mouth, softening down to the neck and shoulders, the back, the arms and the chest, the belly softening, the hips. And give yourself permission to adjust your body as it softens. You may need to change your position a little bit or a lot. Feel the feet as they press into the mat just gently. And noticing maybe just the differences of the feet. Maybe you feel the right foot grounding a little stronger than the left or vice versa. Just be aware of what you're sensing. Maybe wiggle the toes a little bit, feel the fingers. So let's bring our attention into our heart center. Just have an awareness of the heart. Can we feel the heart beating? We're still connected in with our breath. And imagine the heart itself is breathing. Breath coming in through the heart and out through the heart. Perhaps deepening the sense of awareness of the heart center. We'll just take a few moments to find appreciation and gratitude for our heart. If it helps, if it's helpful, think of something or someone that you feel a deep appreciation for. 
and allow that feeling of gratitude and appreciation to expand in the heart center. As the heart breathes in, Let's begin to rock gently with hips side to side. Imagine if your tailbone is on the face of a clock and we're rocking three o'clock to nine o'clock. Allow the knees to come with, the thighs to come with a little bit, it's fine, it doesn't really matter. Just feel that sense of rocking and looseness. Doesn't have to be too big. coming into the center and we're going to imagine now that our tailbone is going to walk around the face of that imaginary clock that's on our our mat that our hip bones are uh, that our tailbone is on so we're just, just gently just very very small and I like to take my hands in and place them on the sides of my hips just to increase awareness of the movement and little tiny hip circles it doesn't matter which direction that you go tiny hip circles. Let the back move as it needs to move. Notice if the head's moving. And if possible, let your jaw soften even more. Maybe the, let the lips part, the lower lip fall away from the upper lip. to a still point. And just be aware. Notice yourself in constructive rest pose. Breathing in, breathing out. And now let's begin to go the other direction. Hopefully you remember which direction that you went when we had the hip circles. And we'll just go the other direction. And you might find that one way is easier. See if you can find that looseness. I know in my experience, what I observe is the second time when I go the way I'm not prone to go without thinking about it, it's a little more difficult. I feel a little more stiff. So remembering to soften the jaw. Let the head move if it needs to move. And then coming to a still point. We'll allow the hands to move back out to just somewhere away from the body. And we're going to slowly walk our feet out towards the side edges of the mat so that we feel the edge of the mat underneath the sole of the foot. And we're going to go back to that 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock rocking. And so we're going to let the legs go with it side to side. And it doesn't need to go too far. Let the movement grow really organically. So, oh, my back just did a nice little pop. It felt good. This is a nice movement, just gentle movement introducing for the spine, gentle rotation, and if going too far creates a little bit of tension in your back, it's really wonderful to do this if you have, if you want to limit your movement, put couch pillows on either side or if you have big throw pillows and that gently limits your movement out to each side, giving you a layer of protection and a little more groundedness as well. You feel kind of tucked in, so that's a great option. And then we're going to allow the arms to go. But if you can stay here, just doing this movement here, our gentle windshield wipers, just focusing on the bottom of the feet and the edges of the feet as we 
go from side to side. And then if you like, adding the arms to the opposite side. And then allow your eyes to follow the arms. And the whole face follows the arms. We're doing a little bit of rotation here. So we're adding the spine, adding the neck. Let's do that a couple more times. It feels so yummy, I could just keep going. <laughs> All right, we'll come back into our constructive rest pose. Let's just heel toe the feet in a little bit so they're back in line with the hips. Find a position and just take a few breaths here and listen to the body. Inhale, let's reach both arms over the head, let the feet relax down. We'll just stretch it out in opposite directions. You can point and flex the feet. Spread through the fingertips, maybe just moving. And then on the exhale, let's bring one knee into the chest, bring the arms down. Let's begin to move into alternating knees to chest. We'll do a few of these, give a nice stretch to the back. Moving in rhythm with our breath. Let's do two more. Come back to our bent knee position in preparation for flowing bridge. So planting firmly through the feet, let's walk the shoulder blades down the back and closer together just in preparation. So we're going to take the palms open, a little bit away from the body, and we're going to move just with our feet. And we're going to flow, or our well, hips are moving upwards, so we're not going to use our hands at all. So in, as we inhale, begin to press the low back to the ground and then peeling the spine up off the mat. We're lifting through the hips. You can walk the shoulder blades a little bit more together if you like. Exhale, rolling the spine back down. And then moving with the breath. Let's inhale up. And exhale down. Let's do a few more of these. Pressing into the feet to create that lift. Exhale, releasing the hips. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Let's do three more. onto one side. Let's roll onto our right side, taking the right arm and then placing it underneath the head for support. And I'm going to change my position a little bit here so you can see what I'm going to be doing. We'll do some arm arcs. So my, my right arm is folded under my head for support. The left hand is out in front, hand on the floor. And I'm just going to begin to reach forward so the shoulder blade moves away from the spine. And then I'm going to move it back. And notice the arm stays straight. I'm dragging it back and forth. I'm moving from the shoulder blade. And as I hold in this sideline baby position, head relaxed, I'm going to roll slightly forward, so slightly so the chest goes slightly towards the floor. Opening my mouth, really letting myself relax here. I'm just going to pause for a moment. And if you like, We'll create a toning for the first chakra. Really you can find that sense of grounding. The first chakra tone sound is, is like a uh. So really let it come from the guttural, from the belly. 
And let's do it three times. Inhaling. Uh, Notice the vibratory quality of the toning. Maybe feel the vibration in the belly or in the back. Just notice where you feel it. And then imagine that you've got a crayon in your hand. And we're going to imagine drawing. I'm just going to drag my hand. It never comes off the ground. I'm just about to the, like I'm drawing half a rainbow that ends above the crown of the head. And then I'm going to come back exhaling and come back down. And then do that again as we inhale up. Exhale down and only go in a range that feels good for you. If you're taking care of your shoulder and this feels like too much of a, a range, then just stay in the range that feels good. And as we expand it, instead of going over the head, you can drag the hand across the body, across the chest, if you're taking care of your shoulders. If your shoulders are feeling good with this movement, we're going to begin to open a little bit more but we're doing it in waves and just very gentle, little, little bit further each time, not forced at all, just gently moving. Good, and by with this arm arcing movements, we're reaching into the upper psoas. Notice that the arm is fully supported on the floor. It never leaves the floor or the carpet, whatever you're happen to be on whatever surface. And then we're going to end in that open position, finally opening and go ahead and lay down. If the arm is hanging, I don't know if you see this, but my arm is hanging, so I'm going to bring that arm down so it has a support. Just down lower or I can lay it, my hand on my rib cage. I'm just going to stay in this position. So we're in an open twist. Take a few breaths here. Roll back to our constructive rest pose and reorienting yourself on the mat in constructive rest pose. Just pause right there for a moment. We're going to begin to roll when you're ready to the other side. And you can just simply roll onto your left side. So now we have our left hand supporting underneath supporting our head, underneath our head, and then the right hand is out in front. And we're just gonna move that, just straight out, just back and forth. We feel that movement of the scapula. And then find a position where you're slightly forward, really relaxed, mouth is open. And this time let's tone for the second chakra. So it's a, a sound of an ooh. An ooh. So we're going to do that ooh three times. Taking a breath in.
vibration. Notice where you feel that in your own body. And then again, we're going to be taking a crayon, a, a, or an imaginary crayon. I'm going to shift my position a little bit here. And I want to make sure, the reason I'm instructing you to hold a, like a crayon, it, I think it helps keep the hand on the ground and knowing that we have to turn it a little bit. So we're just going to do a quarter arc or a half arc, and just nice and slow, and allow the movement to get bigger only when you're ready. So we'll do this several times. Notice the hand never leaves the floor. Allows me just to open very gradually and with a fully supported arm. And you're expanding the movement only when you're ready and it's feeling good. I'm gonna have to knock my blocks over here out of the way to expand the movement. So that may be part of their processes to push things out of the way. And then let's finally open up to a supported position. Remember, sometimes when you get in this position, that, that top arm, the right arm in this case, will be totally supported on the ground. Or maybe it just happens to have a block right back there that, like mine, I'm just laying on a block and it's fully supported. Or I might want to bring it down so that I have a little more opening and a little more support from the floor. We just don't want to have anything hanging up in the air that will alarm the nervous system. We want everything to be supported, but we're using minimal propping for this. And just find some breath here. Feel some expansion in the rib cage and our open twist. Let's take a couple more breaths in this position. And then we're going to meet back in our constructive rest posture. And then here is where you can use your blocks, your egg blocks, to support. We're going to come into a position, our, our reclining butterfly position. So I like to place my eggs right in there and underneath the hip there so I can come into that reclining butterfly fully supported. And then we can take our hands out to the side. And then we'll do a three toning breast for the heart chakra here, the sound of ah. So let's take a breath in and we'll do three toning ahs. Allow yourself to stay here 
for as long as you like. You can adjust your support. You can take the blocks away or keep the blocks there supporting. Just continue to be aware of the body, aware of any sensations. And perhaps even coming back to that sense of gratitude. Feeling the heart center and with each beat and each breath, sending out a sense of appreciation and gratitude. Sending that out to all parts.